Former President Trump said he would deploy military assets to fight the, to fight the fentanyl crisis and inflict maximum damage on cartel operations if elected in 2024. Um, and w- he would seek the death penalty uh, to convicted drug <laughs> to convicted drug dealers and human traffickers. You know, I mean, like it it, it really does go without saying, but we got to say it that uh, you know our drug policies obviously could be changed, but no. What, we're not going to change that. We're just going to put people to death who sell them. Okay. Trump outlined his proposed policies for ending drug addiction in America in a new campaign video obtained by Fox News Digital on Thursday. For three decades before my election, drug overdose deaths increased every single year. Under my leadership, we took the drug and fentanyl crisis head on, and we achieved the first reduction in overdose deaths in more than 30 years, Trump said in the video. Sadly, Oh, no, this is still Trump. Sadly, under Joe Biden, our hard-won progress has been surrendered, along with the surrender of our southern border. Such a shame. Trump continued. Now, fentanyl and other ultra-deadly poisons are pouring into our country unchecked, stealing more than 100,000 American lives every single year. I mean, what? Well, even if you take Trump out of the... <clears throat> excuse me. Even if you took Trump out of the situation, like the way Republicans talk about our the America's drug problems. It's always as if like, it's just now getting bad. You know what I'm saying? Like Americans have had drug problems for, I mean, well, honestly, as long as America's been around, people have had drug problems forever in terms of, you know, abusing substances or, or what have you. You know, you go back and even uh, in modern times, I mean, look at what heroin did in the streets, uh, especially around the time of, uh, of the Vietnam War. Um, cocaine after that, crack over, uh, after that. I mean, again, coke, coke has been around. Coke's been around for a long time, but just in terms of when it became very culturally popular. Um, you know, this is nothing new. So it's <laughs> like, oh, no, now it's flooding in. Like, okay. But you don't want to do anything about, you know, uh, socializing our healthcare system, uh, more properly or more effectively. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it, it, it's it's really ridiculous. It's stupid. I'm getting mad emails and stuff. I'm doing a show uh, with Jr. at five o'clock and uh, and just other stuff too. So I can so I keep I keep looking down at my at my phone and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there's no real efforts. It's just like how can we be more punitive but not actually get anything done in the process. Trump slammed Biden, saying his record is one of death, destruction, and misery in communities across our nation. Well, I mean, that's kind of, you know, like Biden definitely contributed to that uh, in terms of legislation that he's passed over the decades. (laughs) But again, we got to talk about solutions. When I am back in the White House, I will take action on day one to end this horrific plague and save American lives. He said, Joe Biden will never solve the drug overdose crisis because he is actively destroying our border. But where's the wall you said you was going to build? Which wouldn't have done nothing anyway. Trump said he would impose a full naval embargo on drug cartel. A full naval embargo. Like they wouldn't be able to corrupt that and get drugs through that. And would deploy military assets to take on cartel operations. While insisting on the full cooperation of neighboring governments to dismantle the trafficking of smuggling network in the region. Man, this dude is talking out of his behind. You you think that Mexico or the rest of the world would would stand for it if the United States just brought a a full naval fleet and just a full military fleet up against uh, Mexico's land? No, that's not happening. That is not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like that's basically a declaration of war. Like I'm just going to pull up on your country with a whole bunch of huge, massive weapons of war. Like, no, you're not going to do that. That ain't happening. But, you know, you can't put things past people too much. Not to say it's impossible, but again, like actually going through with something like that would literally be a declaration of war. In addition to, and he, you know, keep in mind, he said Mexico was going to pay for the wall that wasn't ever built anyway, which wasn't going to happen either. In addition to pushing Congress to impose the death penalty on drug dealers and human traffickers, he said he would the death penalty. He said he would direct U.S. federal law enforcement to take down gangs and organize street crime 
that distribute deadly narcotics at the local level. So again, what are you talking about? Like, are you just going to go in the communities and gun these people down? I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty much, uh, oh, I'll, I'll, oh, shoot, my bad. I'll drop something. I'll put my email address in the chat right now. Um, all right, one sec. There we go. I, I just put it in there. But yeah, I mean, again, like from this approach, it's sounding like we're just gonna, we're just gonna run into the communities and we're just gonna gun everybody down. And ho- I mean, you know, which I, again, obviously that would cause a tremendous amount of problems and it wouldn't stop people's need to intoxicate themselves. Let's continue. They are killing our people. So we should just kill them. I guess that's, that, that's the approach. They are killing our people. They are poisoning our be- beautiful children, Trump said. He said he would permanently designate fentanyl as a federally controlled substance and warn China that it would pay a steep price if it does not clamp down on the export of fentanyl chemical uh, precursors, but procurers rather. But again, no emphasis. It's, It's just, you know, for the people who are always talking about personal responsibility. Oh, we got what we got. Fantastique, le fantastique from Santa Fe was going on. But yeah, it's like, you know, there's no emphasis on the personal responsibility for us over here. You know what I'm saying? I had a deal worked out with President Xi, Trump said. They weren't going to be sending any more, and they were going to impose the death penalty on those that made it in China. But but then but but then but but because I'm not in office now that that's that's not happening. Obviously he's lying. That was not a deal. No one would agree to something like that. It will, I won't say no one, but not not a country like China wouldn't publicly agree to something like that. On top of it wouldn't stop people from doing drugs. During his administration, Trump negotiated a deal with Beijing to crack down on the production of those uh, precursors. Trump slammed President Biden for walking away from that agreement. Attacking the supply of these deadly drugs will be just the beginning, Trump said, adding that he would help to strengthen the pillars that give life meaning and hope for those struggling with addiction, in particular, faith and human faith, faith and family. Trump's proposal includes the expansion of federal support for faith-based counseling treatment, and recovering uh, programs for drug users. He said he recognizes that we are going to need God's help to, oh my, this dude is so full of it. <clears throat> he said, we gonna need God's help to help steer the country out of the crisis. We're gonna, we're, we'll, we'll need God. I'm gonna need to take some pictures with a bunch of evangelical pastors surrounding me with their hands on me, <laughs> making me the center of attention. And then we can get God to come down here and just clean it up, just clean everything up. <laughs> Hell no. Trump also proposed that any parent, child, spouse, or relative who needs to take time to care for a family member fighting to overcome addiction can take advantage of a family leave program. Well, that doesn't sound bad, but everything else sounds pretty bad. Having a a, a family leave program would be great for people who really need some help with addiction, but everything else, you know, the death penalty for drug dealers and you know, that, that's, that, that, that's where we're crossing many lines. My administration will support measures to make it easier for those suffering from addiction to seek treatment without losing their job. Trump said, when I am president, we will not rest until we have ended the drug addiction crisis in America. We will win. It will happen. We have to win, though, in 2024 because our country's going to hell. I mean, Ronald Reagan said that and ain't nothing changed. They, you know, you remember the dairy programs and all of that? You know what I'm saying? (laughs) The dairy programs and everything. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of BS. Ooh, look at all them drugs. Look at all them drugs. But yeah, no, the family lead program, that sounds great. But, you know, the other stuff is just kind of like, eh, nah, maybe not, perhaps not.